Hi everybody. <laughs> Welcome to another Pat Riley stream. It's good to have everybody. I hope you're all doing well. Hope you're having a fantastic day or night. I don't have any specific plans, but I think if we don't have a telegram or if we don't run into somebody, then I may go exploring to look for, you guessed it, a fishing spot. Something worthwhile. Looks like no new telegrams. No news is good news, as you all know.
Hey, buddy. We're gonna refill our um, flask then. Might be time to conquer our fear of Lemoyne. Alright, so there was nobody in Blackwater. Um, means we're free to explore. <clears throat> Hopefully that doesn't come back to bite us in the ass. I mean, knowing my luck, you know. I'm gonna attract all kinds of wildlife. Yep. That sounds about right. There's still one more. I 
I mean, that was pretty cool if I do say so myself. <laughs> thought. The rest of these we have to sort of butcher because, um, well, I don't have my skinning knife. safe for the crossing. Good deed for the day, done. Suppose we might as well loop back around. And then in Strawberry, I think we'll, um... We'll sell the machete for a hunting knife. I think after we get the hunting knife, we'll skin this wolf, we'll sell both the skin and the carcass, and then we'll be on our merry way, and we'll try to find that fishing spot. I might be puppy chow, but, um... I sure as heck just took on four wolves and got them all. <laughs> Proud moment. At least I feel like it is. I don't know. <laughs>
Oh, that might be a general store thing then. can't be sold here. Can I sell it to the weapon vendor, then? Puppy chair. <laughs> hey, Dirt Nap. Welcome on in. It's very good to have you. I hope you're doing well. And now, that name does not... It's not gonna stick. I refuse. Hello. The audacity. <laughs> anyway. Welcome to another day. Of Pat Riley's shenanigans. Alrighty, not bad. Now, as for our little discovery trip... We're gonna go... we're gonna go see what we can catch. way up there, because I we've not really fished in the swamp at all. So we know we can get catfish, but maybe there's something better. I'm hoping to find that out today. Another dead wolf. Seems like there were a lot of them around. We killed four of them just at the beginning of stream. So yeah. There's a special bait to help in the swamp, but you can't remember what it is. Um, I actually have a, a swamp lure, so I think that might be it.
There might also be some bait that you can only buy in the swamp. I don't know. We'll have to see. Hopefully, if it is only available in the swamp, it won't cost us an arm and a leg, but it shouldn't. I kind of wish there was some kind of specialty bag that we could use for fish. Did I get a good rest in for my day off stream? Kind of? It was weird. Um, I got to sleep a bit earlier, obviously, but um, after that I woke up every three hours for some reason. I didn't feel more tired, it's just kind of like, meh. It was weird. At least I kind of got to take it slow during that day, right? So, yeah, pretty good. I do still need to um, clip the previous stream for any highlights um, and publish those. So those will be up probably after today's stream, depending on how long we get uh, drawn in for. And then, of course, after that, today's uh, clips will be sought after and posted. Um, yeah. I still have not finished the intro video. But that's also because I'm, I'm trying to learn how to edit while I'm doing the edits. And it is a long and laborious process, which I did not anticipate. But on the plus side, I did manage to uh, keybind all of my scenes, so I don't need to alt-tab to scene switch, which will be good for... Um, that'll be good for the flow of the stream. Like, if we run into lag, I just hit the shortcut for BRB screen. Much easier. Should be a more seamless experience for you guys.
<clears throat> All right, now that I'm not fully distracted by the riding, um, yeah, my idea is also once I have the intro done, um, I can use that to sort of showcase my editing skill at that point. Um, and hopefully utilize it in other projects too, like, I do intend fully to expand to tabletop RPGs. Um, whether or not that's in collaboration with anyone or anything, I don't know. We'll see. But that is definitely somewhere in the future, on the books, in my mind. getting close. It's starting to look like the roads area. Oh, and yesterday I did play a little of Wild RP off stream, because I'm sneaky like that. Um. <laughs> And we went on a hunting trip with Emmett. Um, we shot three bears. Um, no, we shot four bears, sorry. We shot four bears, and then I also got a great horned owl. So, pretty good. have a quick stop here to see because we got some intel that there might be quite a bit of quite a bit of oregano here I'm gonna take those two while I'm here um, so if that's true then we're gonna pick a, a bit of that because oregano is useful. Could of course be bogus information, but I don't know. Still worth a look. And of course, as you can plainly see, we got ourselves a new, um, a new coat, a new jacket. This one should hopefully provide equal, if not better, protection against bites. Because, you know, apparently we're prone to getting attacked.
You like that jacket? Thank you. Seed to sow some wolf mane into the lining. <laughs> yeah, if only. Create a, a radius around myself that's like an, a wolf repellent. Yeah, I wouldn't mind that at all. There was a time that I would have hoped that um, having wolf meat in my pockets would have had that effect, but unfortunately it doesn't register as wolf meat per se. It's just like game meat. That's a croc. One there, a little snick. One little snicky snick. No, that's a fucking panther. Could you maybe run? Have you tried running? Okay, good. Good, 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 good. Not today. The Florida Panther, huh? Okay. Thank you. I've been practicing my Red Dead aim. Alright, stay here, big shot. There's two gators. One right over there, and then one over there. Maybe that's not a gator, maybe that's actually a rock or something. Nope, it's a gator! Screw you in particular. Gonna need chaps too, looks like. I'm already wearing some.
Oh, no, wait, no, those are spats. Nope, you're right. Chaps is what I need. But goddamn. Why did that look like a log, though? Yeah, we can replace a shitty cat for a perfect gator skin. I think that's fair. There you go, good boy, look at good boy. All right, we're gonna cut us up some game. And then we have two snakes on the other side. What the hell are those pink things? I don't know, but one of them has to die. Midland water snake, huh? Hey, a little free. Actually, I can just skin this and chop it up. <clears throat> or hang the carcass for my horse. Um, the second snake I can chop up, because you can only store two small animals and the bird is going to be the other small animal, so... Fuck it, get start quick. Cotton mouth? Of course it is. Stay the frick away from my bird. Spoonbill. Okay. A rosy spoon, Bill. No idea how much that'll get me, but... I will find out. Got a nice little fishing hole here. Swamp is delivering goodies pretty fast. It really is. Let's check our health real quick. Ooh. He took half our health? Maybe we'll finally drink the tonic. Okay, that did drink it. I was like, what? Did I not? Hello? But yes, I did. I did drink it. Alright. Let's see what's in fishing hole number one.
What is that noise? Sounded like a wolf. They're close to the road, somewhere to my right. giant catfish batman what what the fuck what d d <laughs> All right, we'll leave that there for a second. And then I think once... I don't know. Jesus Christ. We'll have to have our horse follow us to the nearest... Butcher. That was insane! The size of that frickin' thing. Is that another panther back there? Or is that a coyote? Moves like a coyote. Alright. 
I think the swamp is telling us we already have enough for now. And I would tend to agree. Alright, first let me lead you away from here. And then I will bid you to follow me. Nearest butcher. Roads. I'm gonna need my HUD to navigate there, though. Um, yep, I'll just head straight to the road. This has been a very, very good exploratory trip into the swamp. Holy smokes. I don't know if he'll make it before any of this spoils. But I think we can definitely say we got lucky. Even though we got chomped pretty bad. Which means I'll probably actually have to jump into a doctor's office too to grab something to help myself. Rider to my right. Game needs a pack mule since they nerfed the crates on rideable horses. Yeah, either that or they need some kind of... Some kind of satchel or... Bag, something that the person can carry that stows more, but maybe slows them down a little bit. Definitely needs something. I mean, I will admit that having a crate on the back of a horse looked silly. But... It does need a replacement, though. You can't just take that away because we have carts now. So either a pack mule or 
some kind of bag would be nice. Or some kind of um, larger saddlebags that you could purchase, maybe. For more storage space. You take the fish, I'll take the skin. Thanks, buddy. And then we're gonna sell all of this. Only four dollars for that? Wow. Two bucks for that already. Okay, stay. Thank you. You're such a good boy. Always skin your and your your kills first, not your animals, just your kills. Uh, if you skin your animal, I mean you would have no horse. So think before you act. Shoe bill, what are you worth? Three bucks. Okay. Fifty cents for the feathers. Water snake. The skin was only worth like one fifty or something. Six twenty five, at least that's pretty good. I think this fish will make it to the fishmonger, so we'll sell that at the butcher, too. Well, fuck you, too, man. I think the job board has jobs for collecting the feathers for better money. Oh. Well. Too late now. Seven dollars at the butchers means that it, it'd probably be around twelve at the fishmongers. That's not bad at all. I don't know if that'll actually help. Okay, yeah, it does. Cool.
There we go. Healthy. Alright, then we'll check the job board to see if there is indeed a feather collecting thing. Though, they cycle around, so if you don't see it, it may still be true, but it might just not be there right now. No, they want two foxes. Might be a, a busy job, D. Someone sure came out of there uh, in a hurry. <clears throat> Now we know that not all logs here are logs. <laughs> Some of them might be gators. We know that our horse getting spooked might mean that there's a panther somewhere that we're not seeing. It's a lot of valuable stuff to learn. We know that the birds are kind of useless, except if there's a special order for their feathers.
The swamp seems quite eager to provide, to be honest. There you go. A little bit of cleaning for you, buddy. Feels better, don't it? Whoa. What? That giant fish just sort of crawled out of the water. These weren't worth a lot of money, though. So I think it's better to chop them up. Yeah, because then you get animal fat and you get three succulent fish fillets. I think that's going to be way better. Yeah, that's another thing. I think here, either you hook them immediately, or you just don't get them. Doesn't seem like waiting around or like trying to bait them gets them.
to another big and we're gonna keep that so we can chop it up for the fish meat. Whoa. <laughs> what the frick? See, as soon as it sits for, like, five seconds, they don't want it anymore.
These are not your run of the mill fish. I guess they might not be swamp-specific fish, which is why they're not going for the swamp-specific bait. Yeah, I think that's actually what we're dealing with. <laughs> okay, firstly... Did I hit the gator or not? No, because he's right there. I missed again. Hit that time though. <clears throat> that will have scared off all the fish though. Let's cross this road slightly to the right. Right. Yes. Okay, so that indicates there should be a pond actually in between these trees. You're nervous, it's okay. <sighs> That's a distillery. Yeah, okay, that tracks. <laughs> so this is where the moonshiners go. I don't see any fishing spots here.
Alrighty. Now that we know that. Um... can let the cinematic camera handle this for us for a little bit. We'll probably lose the snake carcass, but that's okay. Not that valuable. Hopefully this next area will be fruitful. It's a little further on, okay. So the pond is immediately to our left. Very good. We'll stay outside of charging range if we can.
Alright. And then there's still the matter of a few snakes in the water that I'm seeing. Alrighty. Now that that's taken care of. Is that stuck in the trees? It was. Interesting. Hello. Um, but that does leave us with a full inventory, however. You still have some big game meat on you that I forgot to sell. Okay. We'll have to remember this. It's pretty much in the middle of the bayou anyway. Wait, that didn't mark that. Back to Blackwater to the fishmonger to maximize our fishy profits. The swamp is so, so very giving. What the hell? Come on, sir. So with some luck, this, um... Succulent fish meat will be worth more than the fish if I had left it whole.
but that's what we're trying to figure out. Plus, I can also tell Atticus about the succulent fish meat. Um, just for restaurant purposes. The gator skin was only, what, three dollars or something? Hello. Not a lot of people are talking, but I can see that my team speak is just fine, so that's not the problem this time around. <laughs> Howdy. It is quite the trek to and fro, Blackwater, though. I will say that. Those sound like coyotes running away. Well, 
closer. nervous because there's always wolves here well how about it mr. Riley well how about it mr. Tulliver good to see you again <laughs> Very good indeed. How am I doing? Yeah, not too shabby. Not too shabby. I've been doing some exploring um, when it comes to fishing. Our latest target has been the swamp. And uh, we're about to find out whether or not the swamp is profitable. But what I can say is that just generally the swamp is very giving. Like we had a panther, uh, a snake, and a, an alligator within half a minute of arriving in the swamp the first time. How are you, friend? You're doing all right at work today, working and open to close. Nearly threw out your back today. Just sitting at your desk suffering. Oh, buddy, I'm sorry.
All right. I'm relogging because we suddenly got into a ton of lag. So I don't quite know what what happened. Channel switch. I'm just gonna do a full restart just to be on the safe side. Audio sounding better now? Yeah. It usually is after you know. After I quit out of Wild, um, when that kind of problem starts happening, I really have no clue what causes it. So I can't actually fix it. But, yes. You run into a weird issue when you're streaming and on wild and fishing specifically, where your inventory lags out and becomes unrelentingly slow. Yeah, that's pretty much what happens. Um, my inventory just lags out and everything just tanks. No, not at all. <laughs> I think it's a memory leak issue. No, I know what you mean. Like, it's not good. It's... It's bad that that problem exists, but it's good to know that you're not the only person experiencing this problem. That it's not something that has to do with your hardware. Yeah, I got you. <laughs> Alright. Loading in. So, again, the music mixture that always happens. It's a little bit weird, but we can power through it. Okay, so, it seems that the fish fillet is something that you absolutely need to cook. Because raw, 20 cents a piece. Ooh. I don't know how elaborate cooking is, but I may try just a few ingredients to see if they will make a difference.
so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna probably grab some cheese from the general store. And then I'm gonna go collect some oregano. And I'm gonna see if I can combine both of them with the fish fillet. Because if so, that'd be a pretty good improvement, I think. cheese wedge. Let's see if there's anything that makes any sense. We may need a frying pan. I don't know. Hadn't thought about that. Also because I haven't done any cooking whatsoever. We'll just sell that <clears throat> and then get we'll get five salt. Um, we'll get ourselves a frying pan and we'll get ourselves actually hmm. Maybe we'll do a cast iron pot instead. What do you mean I don't have room? Do you only carry one? Yeah, okay. Alright. It's fair. Alright, we'll go get some oregano, and then we're gonna abuse the campfire nearby. The one up here in the camp. it'll turn into something. Otherwise, we spend a little bit of money for no reason. Follow me, please. Were those not oregano plants? No, I guess not. Okay. Hmm. 
That one looks like an oregano. Hello? Someone just say fella? Like, I was running over here for the oregano, and I, I could just... Bleh. I could have sworn I heard someone yell, Hey, fella! Didn't hear anything? Cool. I'm hearing ghosts. Sounds like the voices in my head are in danger. <laughs> well, how unfortunate, because they're just stuck in there. Oh well, just another nightmare for Mr. Riley to write about, I guess. <laughs> I ran across the grassy field in search of herbs, when suddenly, somewhere off in the distance, I heard a cry for help, but searched as I may, I could not find a single individual in the wilderness. It was as though the wilderness itself was calling me to follow deeper in and lose myself. Luckily, with my horse behind me, I did not lose my senses and instead made my way back to the road. I had been spared this time. But I knew the woods would call again, and perhaps next time it would be in a different place. I would not be so lucky. Perhaps next time, a trail of crimson would be the only evidence that I ever walked where I did. Now we know what drives Pat to the rangers. Searching for the voices in the woods. <laughs> searching for that one person who's just constantly in danger. You feel like Pat being a ranger would be so good? Really? That's interesting. 
What makes you say that? I'm actually very curious about that. Your wife says I'd be a natural ranger. <laughs> well, it's difficult to argue with multiple people. just has an energy that's like, yeah, I know my way around these woods. <laughs> or, it's alright, Atticus, you're just bleeding out from <laughs> a panther attack, I gotcha. <laughs> I didn't realize my energy said so much, maybe I need to tone it down. <laughs> I like helping people and being out in the wilds. I guess that does make a lot of sense, yes. Both of those things are quite true. Yeah, I guess you got me. Now, I'm curious. Would this count as a pot already being there, or would I need to add a pot? No idea. Fish fillet. Oh, maybe fish fillet added last. Oregano? Cheese? Salt? Animal fat? I don't know. I don't know what the heck I'm doing. It's not a carryable, okay. This, that's fair enough. But can you not do that? No. Okay, can you do that? No. If we add the pot, that means it doesn't become that. I don't know what I'm doing. This already has two in it. Um, yeah, so it'll have to be here. I don't know how to cook, though. Howdy, howdy, sir. Hello. How are we doing today? Yeah, not too shabby. How about yourself? Yeah, not bad. I'm under Sheriff Point of St. Charles Sheriff's Department. Nice to meet you. I'm Pat Riley. Mr. Riley, pleasure. You notice anyone acting suspicious around here? Um... 
Not directly. I've only just arrived. I was uh, trying to cook what I'd gained from hunting. Okay. Oh, we report somewhere around about the stables, binoculars and such like, acting suspicious. All right. Um, was there any more detail? Suspicious in what way? I think just being a little bit shady, you know, that's all the way. We just want to make sure there's nothing untoward happening, so. Okay, no, I fully understand that, absolutely. But you ain't seen anything, you ain't seen anything. Well, Mr. Riley, appreciate your time today. You have a good day. Absolutely, you as well. Sir, we call that slop. <laughs> I think that ranger is very convinced, or that undersher undersheriff, sorry, I think that undersheriff is very convinced that I'm the guy they're looking for, but since he doesn't have anything to really get me with, he sort of just has to let it go. Can we not do salt rubs? What is that? Chunk of cheese? What? S huh? That's just bait, right? I don't know. What am I doing? I don't understand. It seems kind of lame that that would be the only thing you can do. I don't believe it. No idea. Alright, so cheese doesn't work. I don't know what salt would do. The cooking pot definitely did nothing. Well, it did do something, but not for us. I think it needs vegetables and stuff. They need a cookbook for recipes? They do. I only just understood what you meant. Jesus, I'm slow today. But yes, they do. They do need a cookbook. Preferably one that only exists in the game and that you have to buy from other characters, because business.
Oh, you can't sell that back to them? Oh boy. That's annoying. That's just cruel. <laughs> Animal glue text Jesus. <laughs> that was quite cruel. Oh, they have straight up butter. On a scale of 1 to 10... I'm just gonna ignore that. That doesn't exist. It's not a thing. Uh, instead, I'm just gonna make some lures. That's 40 cents. <laughs> Nobody cares about. Okay. So we have two carnivore baits. Something. The stringy meat, I think we can just cook up. Uh, and munch on. Because it's pretty worthless otherwise. Can't do that with oregano? Okay. That's fine. Ew, it's so stringy. Thank you for waiting, Bucket. Boy. Good boy. Oh yeah, we forgot to cook up the succulent fish meat and sell that. Damn it. Let's just get that done real quickly. Is that a storm I just saw rolling in? Oh. No! I refuse.
Alright, let's go see if the fish is worth more now that it's been processed. fifty each. Whether cooked or with oregano. Oh. Alright. You can't sell that there? Oh no. Okay, great. Where do you sell cooked goods at then? The butcher shop? What's the young mark? Maybe the saloon? I've never sold cooked food before, now that I think about it. Maybe I should have been doing that all along, huh? Let's see, will he take it? No. Okay, we'll try the saloon. I don't know if you can sell anything to the saloon, but me. I really thought that... Uh, excuse me, gentlemen. Maybe... Well, that's a really awkward spot. What I need to do is go mining with Zheng Wei. Yeah, maybe. I don't know if reported means reported to law or reported to admins. I hope it's to law. No, oh, sir. But yeah, I do want to go on one of those mining trips with Mr. Zheng Wei. Can I get away, Industries? How? That would be hilarious. Actually, it's, can I get a collective way, Industries? How in the mine? How? Freaking grand. It's so good. Oh, hello, sir. He's definitely trying to talk to me, but I can't hear him. That was good money, too. All right. So TeamSpeak is crashing. Why does it always take 15 years for it to, to die? Yeah, sorry, fella, but if I can't hear you, I can't hear you. I'm not trying to ignore you. Okay. 
It was good money too. Awesome. Fun plus money. Very good. I like that combo. And like, honestly, I don't know how other people get through restarting TeamSpeak and such so quickly, because it never happens for me. Alright, sorry. Yes, help me. What can I help you with, sir? I don't know. What? You need help, but you don't know with what? No, I wouldn't know where to start. Well, somewhere at the beginning, I suppose. You haven't got long enough. Hold me, please. Um, sure. Please. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, of course. I don't know what to do. <laughs> I don't know what to do. Where have you come from, sir? Van Horn. Van Horn. Anything happen at Van Horn? Yes. Would you mind describing what happened, sir? Horrible. Horrible, horrible, horrible times. Give me everything you've got, please. 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 I'll give you three seconds. Please put the gun down, sir. I'm sorry. Put it down. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Sorry, sir. It's okay. Just take this. I can't see anything, sir. <laughs> okay. How about now? No, sir. No, sir. All right. No. Would you mind if I put it directly into your pocket? You don't have to. You don't have to do this, sir. It's all right. Thank you. Thank you. Of course. Yeah, had a terrible time, Van Horn, sir. They removed my eye. <laughs> I'm sorry, sir. You've gone through a lot, so <laughs> I want to. <laughs> I want to give you some. Why laughing? Why laughing? It's not laughing so much as just a scoff at your misfortune, sir. There you go, sir. Thank you, sir. It's a little something to help Stand you along still. your way. Thank you, sir. Stand still. Stand very still for me, would you? I am standing still. I wouldn't. Fuck you. Fuck I really you. wouldn't. This is wonderful timing, isn't you. it, Mr. Relish? 
Put Fuck it down. You. Drop the gun, Mr. Relish. No. Relish, I please. Wouldn't. No. Come on, we can talk about this. We Fuck just doesn't you. need to happen. Help Relish. me. Relish. Help me. These are the people I was talking about, sir. No. You've got something you took from me, Relish. Don't move, Relish, please. No. Please. You move and I'll shoot you. Relish. You shoot me then. I don't want to shoot you, Relish. I don't want to. Shoot me then. No. Okay. That's why I'll be a great ranger of compassion. Yeah, but also self preservation. You know what happened in Van Horn. Funny, but fucked up. Uh -huh. Did they actually take his eye? Poor fucker. But yeah, I figured I'd just give him a small sum, you know? Like, if he was genuinely... If he was genuinely dealing with... Uh... An addiction, I wanted to help him. Hey, what's your name? That's brutal? Okay. Yeah. That sucks, I'm sorry. Stay glass, stick with her, take a statement, please, and thank you. Yeah. Are these the people that did it to him, too, or...? <laughs> Actually, don't tell me. That's... that's some dangerous meta. But he seemed to claim that they were... I'm not coming down there until those two are gone. Can't tell me what happened, Atticus doesn't know either. Okay. Good, good, good. Is that the people who shot Relish, or is that Relish? I don't know, I didn't pay enough attention to what they looked like. That's an unconscious person on a horse. Mm-hmm. 
That seems to be the end of it. I'm gonna wait just a little bit longer. All right. Okay. Oh. Hello. Oh, no. You'd better get back to work. Hopefully, Mr. Ali and Atticus will bump into each other soon. Have a good day. Thank you, man. Yeah, I really hope so too. Um, <laughs> telling him about this incident will be hilarious, if not just a complete cluster freak. But yes, that would be awesome. I hope you have a great rest of your day at work. Hope everything goes smoothly and all. No idea who they were, but they seemed close enough. Seems all of law has just evacuated the place. Chasing after the people who are firing guns. 
All right, well, that gives us a couple of seconds to catch our breath, I guess. That was insane. I'm grateful that he actually lowered his gun and didn't just pull the trigger. Or they've been downed in the alley? Maybe. You think Law got blasted? I mean, they did sprint in here, which is kind of like a kill all. But, no. I don't see anybody who's down. Hello? Is there anyone in need of help? If you were involved in the attack earlier and you're hurt, let me know. the rangers so they must have gotten a call about blackwater someone being injured so someone's been down long enough to do that But I know they ran over this way. I heard them. So they have to be around here somewhere. Rangers, it's another sign. Don't do this to me. <laughs> they have to be around here somewhere. Where the hell did you run? Someone did run in here, but I don't know if they ever ran out. I don't think... Like, if you're getting shot and you run in here... That's it, right? Hello. 
did you go down? No way you climbed up here. No, there would have been someone visible up here somewhere. So they ran over there, and they came out here. Seeing someone running. Hello. Okay. Hello? Is there anybody hurt around here? Hello? If you're hurt and you're around here, can you give me a sign? I'd say that's a sign. Hello, is the owner of the brown horse around here? I would have fled into here. And a pile of clothes or a person? Pile of clothes. Option A. No, surely not. This isn't open, is it? Hmm. 
no one down inside the telegram office. They must have picked him up by now. She's just doing her paperwork. We're gonna leave her be. Did you manage to find who you were, who you were looking for? Uh, no, we didn't. We checked everything, but it came up uh, empty-handed, unfortunately. Hmm. No shoutouts, no nothing, so... No. All right. Is there anywhere you haven't checked yet that you might want it, someone else to do, or? Uh, not really. We uh, checked all the alleyways. We checked up on the roofs. We ran all around the tents and building sites here. So uh, no clue. Okay. Right. I'm not that person on the horse there. Are they with the sheriff's department? Are they? Because we've got that person on the horse and the lady is walking around the perimeter of the town checking everything. Mm, I've no clue. Uh, then two were constantly following us and interested in what we were doing. So I don't mm. know if uh, they need speaking to or not. Um, but they've not left town and just keep circling around constantly for the whole time we've been there. Is it one gentleman with a light-colored hat and a rifle that's like a uh, silverish color and then a, a lady just in dark clothing mm -hmm. uh, yeah it's actually lady uh Layla she goes by now uh who is just literally walking circles around town and then you okay. have the other person on the horse who is just circling as well uh very interested in what we're up to but yeah, we've checked the full perimeter, we've checked all the alleyways, we've checked the rooftops, and not seeing or hearing a thing. Um, they might have been looking for the gentleman who was escorted uh, out of the doctor's office in cuffs. Mm. I know they had an altercation with that man um, in the general store while I was also present. Um, but once they sort of got into things firing on each other, I ran out the back and hid. Mm -hmm. Right. Um, well, we'll just keep monitoring the tip line. If anything comes back through, we'll, uh, have to come back out and go through everything with a fine tooth comb. But, the, yeah, we've been all the way up and down the alleyways, checked everywhere, and we're not receiving anything to our uh, call out alright um, I suppose I'll keep a slight eye out for those two inside of town but I'll also do a quick run outside of town just the immediate area surrounding the mansions and such to see if maybe someone got that far and then collapsed mm -hmm. yeah, we'll have a quick check of the church uh, on our way through as well alright sounds good I'll send oh, okay. in a tip if I do find someone. Thank you, sir. You stay safe. Absolutely, you too. Yeah, my horse is probably scared off because of them. <sighs> I 
Oh, that was unexpectedly intense. Oh. Hey, buddy. Let's go see. We found that horse earlier, right? So... Let's see if there's a hurt person around there somewhere. As you know, you guys run far. Hello? Is there anybody who's hurt? Hello? Anyone with injuries? Please give us some kind of indication. Well, us, meaning me and my horse, but still. Hello? Is there anyone who's injured who's around here? I can help get you to the doctor's office. Provided they can be lifted. Hello? Is there anybody with an injury around here who needs my help? I'm not a ranger, but... I can still put you on the back of my horse and get you out. Get you some help. Hello? Is there anybody with an injury who would like a ride back to the doctor's office? Hello? Anybody who's injured needing medical attention? Hello? Is there anybody who's injured who still needs help? Hello? Is there anyone with injuries requiring help? This is about the feasible radius. Going farther out, I don't think we would... That's just way out. Open space. There's no way you'd find anyone there.
Is there anybody with injuries who needs a ride to the doctor's office? If so, give me some indication of where you are. church as well, so... I don't think I can feasibly find them. Not unless they're hiding around here. I know, I know. I tried to find your owner, but I can't. I know. They said they searched the alleyways and the rooftops as well, right? Um, something's not adding up. They said they looked everywhere in town, but did they look at the construction? Be a weird place to hide, but uh... I don't know anybody who would look here. Circus wagon. Someone lounging against the wall. Is 
Doesn't make any sense. What's the missing piece? Maybe I'm not meant to find him. Or her. Man, what's with people killing cats? Poor kitties. Yeah, I think anybody else would have turned back by now. Jesus. I'll look around these little shit checks one for like my final go at it. And then I'm just gonna go about my day. I'd say it's a valiant effort.
All right, shit shanks have been searched. I think we're good. Um, we gave it a shot. You know. Good citizen brownie points, thank you. I'll buy three gun oil and some handgun ammo. The Schofield Revolver and <laughs> the $160 one. Uh, we'll need one more of these. And that should take care of the last bit of degradation. No? Damn. Alrighty, here we go again. <laughs> That's probably going to be prison transport for, um, for Mr. Elish. <laughs> Hello. Yeah, Cliff was just saying he thought he saw you today. Uh, I think we're going to go fishing if you want to join. Probably Owen Gila, because that's like Cliff's spot. Yeah, sounds good. Alright, he's over there. I'm gonna go pick up my fish and stuff from the bank, but... Okie dokie. I'll uh, wait with him pre. Alright, sounds good. See you in a bit. See you in a bit. Hello. Out of there, Pat. Good to see you, Cliff. How are you doing? Um, yeah, all things considered, pretty dang good. All things considered? What's been going on? Uh, it's been a bit of a weird day. Um, I guess I'll not bore you with too much of it, but, um, the weirdest thing that happened 
was I walked into the general store and there's this old man who just went help and I asked what he want help with. He said, I don't know. And I went, okay, so you need help but you don't know with what? He's like, yeah, I don't know where to start. And I go, well, at the start might be a good place, right? <laughs> <laughs> and uh, he's like, I don't know. Can you hold me? And I don't know. He, w he seemed Wait, old what? and... Yeah, he seemed old and frail, so I don't know. I pat him on the back a few times, you know. Okay. And then he pulls a gun out, and he says, Give me everything you've got. And I'm like, I'm going to give you three seconds, old man. Wow. And then he, like, after the three seconds, he puts his gun down and goes, I'm sorry, I'm so sorry. It's just I've had such a rough time. And I'm like, listen, here. I give him a, a little bit of money, and I go, just take care of your habit or something, you know. Did he say what he was doing? Nope, but we had barely finished our conversation when two people walked in. Um, one man with a very shiny-ass rifle, and then a woman with her pistol out. Okay. And they said, neither of you move. So I didn't. I stood perfectly fucking still. <laughs> mm -hmm, as anybody would do. Yep. Yeah. And then the old man pulls his pistol out. And he's like, nope, these are the two I was telling you about. And, uh... Yeah. So what he told me was that he had been uh, assaulted in Van Horn by some folk. Uh, they took his eye and st stuff like that. Uh, and then those two walk in and he says, these are the people... And they said, you know, you took something from us. And then he goes, no, fuck you, no, fuck you. And then he runs out and starts blasting at them. And they run after him, oh, start fuck. shooting. So I duck and I run out the back and I fucking hide. <laughs> Jesus Christ. And then it became a shootout with law and everything involved. It was a shit show. Oh, damn. Yeah, I take it you got out unscathed? I crawled on top of the general store and I sat against that little ledge up there and uh, just waited for the shooting to stop. Damn, whereabouts was this? Just right over there, the general store at Blackwater. Oh shit. Oh fuck, were they left town? Yeah, they were chased out by law. Um, okay, good. I know that the old man was downed because I saw him on the back of a horse and then now just on the back of that cart being hauled off. Oh, jeez. Sounds like you've had a day of it, then. Yeah, I mean, it started okay, you know. Went fishing in the swamp, got a few good-sized catfish, and then all this went down. It's insane. Oh, damn. Uh, talk about fishing. I think me and Emmett might be uh, about to go fishing if you want to join us. Yeah, I already invited him. Yeah. Oh, great. <laughs> I'm happy to tag along. I mean, I could use a, a bit of a calming activity after all that stuff. <laughs> yeah, sounds like it. Sounds like it. Uh, all right, I'm going to put the wagon back. Uh, I might need to go top up on the bait. Uh, all right. How much bait you think's good? Uh, well, I'd take, uh, I, I think we should go up to ONG. Uh, so you want a lake lure and maybe... I don't know, maybe 20 worms, something like that. Depends how, how good the fishing is, you know. Sometimes right. you get good days, sometimes you get bad days, but. All right, sounds good. I think I, I got 30 just in case, but. Oh yeah, that'd be fine. Yeah, I assume that'd be overkill. All right, let's get it the best of the way. Your Christmas wagon. <laughs> So did that exciting stuff happen to you today or was that all yesterday with that devil lady? Nope, that all happened today right there in the general store of Blackwater. Oh, Jesus. Just a couple minutes ago. I mean, probably more like a half hour or an hour. I've lost all sense of time with all that. Oh, hell, what happened? Well, uh, I had come back from fishing and hunting in the swamp. And, uh... You know, I figured I'd try some fancy stuff with the cooking, which, by the way, I'm a fucking moron. I can't cook worth the shit. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I go back into the general store. I'm like, okay, I'm, I'm going to 
sell off whatever I haven't used or whatever. Mm -hmm. Old man walks in, he's all confused. Uh, I try to help him out. Um, like he tells me he he needs to be held because he doesn't know what's wrong, but he just he needs to be held. So I give him a couple pats on the back. Uh, old man pulls a gun, tells me to give him everything I have. I tell him, <laughs> I'm gonna give you three seconds. Jesus. And three seconds later, he puts his gun down, starts apologizing profusely, tells me how he had a bad time in Van Horn. Some people. Uh, got to him, took his eye out and everything. And, oh. uh... I'm like... I mean, I was under the impression he was, he had an alcohol problem and whatever else on top of all that. So I'm like, you know, I'll give him a little bit of money so he can, you know, go get a fucking drink after all that shit. And, um... No sooner had I given him the money than two people walk in, like one with a rifle, one with a pistol. And they tell us both to stand perfectly still, so, you know, fucking, I'm not moving. I just stand there. And the old man looks at me and he goes, these are the people I talk I was talking to you about. And he pulls his pistol, and they tell him to put the gun down, and he tells them, fuck you. And he continues to tell them, fuck you, as he waddles out of the general store. And as soon as he is through the front door, he starts shooting at them and running towards an alleyway, and they follow him. S becomes this whole shootout through the town. Law hear it from their office. They come riding in. They start shooting. Hey, and did you did you get that man's name? Um, I think the guy with the rifle called him Mr. Relish or something like that. You're fucking. Oh, kidding. is it the sex pass? God damn it. I, well, I'm glad. I was thinking it might have been Billy Joe, and I was like, because I heard uh, some people gave him the rough end of a stick, so. Jesus Christ. You but had yeah. many interactions with this uh, Mr. Relish? The first time I've ever seen him in my entire life. Wow. So, uh, yeah. Well, he, uh, he approached me in Strawberry, and uh, we got talking, and he kind of, you know, I don't know if you've noticed, but I got real nice cheekbones. And uh, he was there complimenting me on my cheekbones and stuff. And, you know, it was pretty weird. Don't you roll your eyes at me. <laughs> and it, it was pretty weird, but, uh, you know, I kind of thought nothing of it. Then yeah. when I went into Blackwater with uh, our pal Otis, Mr. Dickie Watt from the theater group, he was talking to me about this band. It turns out he's a, he's a fucking sex pest. Oh, shit. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so yeah. Uh, I ain't surprised that he dragging trouble all around. Uh, fuck knows how he lost his eye. Well, apparently some people in Van Horn uh, didn't take too kindly to him and uh, held him down and took his eye out. Uh -oh. And now those people apparently hunted him all the way to Blackwater finishing the job, I guess. Oh, wow. When did they finally did it? Yeah, well, I mean... Well, I had, no pest, so. yeah, I had no clue. So I had no fucking clue. Bad, I just figured he was a sad old man, needed some help, was down on his luck, whatever. But uh, yeah, well, he's off to Sisica, I guess, because he went in the paddy wagon just a couple minutes ago. Oh, all right. Yeah, they they almost. Okay, so yeah, they, the the uh, deputies almost like. Well, they didn't almost, but they were close to like running me over but it, well it wasn't really close it just he had a tight turn hmm. I'm uh I'm just gonna go grab a few more bite and then uh go for piss and then I'm ready to hit the road alright alright oh shit I still got some big game meat on me <laughs> yeah so do I yeah I don't know, maybe I'll just throw it in the river. I mean, we're, like, just a couple steps from a butcher. We may as well just hobble over there. I mean, Cliff's gonna take a piss. God knows yeah. how long that's gonna take. Yeah. Hey, Black Hawk, well, welcome everyone in. Everyone go to the same spot. Thank you for the, for the raid, man. I appreciate it. And hello, raiders. Welcome on in. Thank you for joining in. I appreciate you. 
<laughs> Boo! You can't scare me. Welcome to a wild RP stream. For me, Pat Riley. But damn. That shit well, must have all happened like Pat Riley. as soon as I was waking up. Must have done. It has been a while, man. Where have you been? What have you been up to? Speaking of, have you seen uh, Kazaya at all today? Not today, no. All right. You looking for her? Uh, not really. I just have some. I want to ask questions about. I don't really think I will, but I want to get more answers about like becoming a medic. All right. Hell yeah. Yeah. But now that I know that she, like, tells everyone to become a medic... <laughs> well, I don't know if she tells everybody. Well, I mean, she's told you, she's told me, she's told Cliff. <laughs> yeah, but then again, you know... Oh, you're right. She didn't tell Otis at all, so you're right. <laughs> yeah, I think she just kind of looks for people she thinks might have uh, the right sort of inclination, you know? Yeah, it makes sense. Real life and just started some GTA RP. Hell yeah, awesome dude. Oh, we might as well just ride the cliff. I mean, yeah, we're we're just here. Why not? Yeah. Oh wait, he. Yeah, he's not here. Never mind. He went to go. Yeah, piss. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's in one of those bushes. Don't oh, there he is. This. You didn't piss on yourself, did you? No. Why? I don't know if we scared you because we realized we still had. Uh, big game meat on us, so we went to the butcher to sell it. Oh, no, nah, I just went pissed in the light. All right, well, you're strawberry man, Cliff, so. Uh, I need a stew or something to keep me going. <laughs> All right. Well, you can get a free one. Uh, somebody's been making some up at the little camp just outside of town. Wait, what was that? You can get some free stew. Here, I'll lead you to it. Free stew? Yep. Uh, I mean... Right up until, like, uh... So who's been making free stew? A week or so ago? Probably somebody who just had a bunch of crap on him and wanted to throw it into a stew to not have to carry it all, I imagine. So yeah, um, I don't know. I feel kind of weird eating like just random stew. I mean, isn't that what you buy at the saloon anyway? I mean, it's like Cliff giving his horse garbage celery. I give my oh. horse garbage apples and shit. Ah, see, oh, it. this is. They fucking love it. This is a pandemic. No, nope, wrong pot. It's I. It's always one or the other. But yeah, here, there's a bowl set down. Can you not see that? Uh, I didn't see anything. All right, here, let me pick it up and give it to you. Wait, is somebody always cooking stew out here and just leaving it on the floor? No, 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 it's not really on the floor. It's like in the pot, right? Um, I think that bowl is stuck. That's okay. I'll just get one from the... Yeah, all right. Yep. <laughs> it feels well, shit. If I, if you sure, Cliff? You don't want to eat that rotted pumpkin? <laughs> oh, well, it does look nice. Of course I don't want to eat the fucking rotted pumpkin. <laughs> He's not he a was... savage. Now, Jim might. <laughs> I mean, if the price is right, anybody might, I imagine. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, sorry. Um, graduated college, and then um, I had a pretty rough fucking year after that. 
And uh, only recently did I start streaming and things have looked a little up since then. I mean, okay, that's understating a lot of things. I had a good relationship going um, up until before I started streaming too. But, yeah, things didn't quite work out. We're still friends, though. And now we're here. Sad story abound. Thank you. Yeah, might as well fill up while we're here. Yeah. So yeah, it's alright. Stuff happens, you know. I'm not too, not too bothered about it. Sounds good. What's the plan for the future? Uh, I'm kind of done planning for the future, but I'm just gonna... I'm gonna go with the flow, wherever that leads. And currently, that's Wild RP. Live in the now. Yeah, pretty much, man. Fletcher, I think his is William. Yep. Oh, lit road. Yeah, when I was doing my training, it was, uh, take a right, Pat. Oh, take a right, sorry. Since you last yeah, when I was doing my training, it was uh, medic white and grim. Fought in V depression, got a fiance, uh, almost done with the education as a truck driver. Fucking oh. hell yes, dude. Yeah. Nice, bro. Good to hear. Proudy, buddy. So quick, have you thought about medic anymore? Telegrams. <laughs> oh, I must have uh, number on student and all that, you know. Well, I mean, she said it to my face, so I think that's better oh. than the telegram. Oh, look at so you I getting the personal treatment and shit. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Was so sad we lost connection after Arc RP. Yeah, I kind of stayed in but, uh, uh, a yeah, version I, of Arc RP, I, like I did Paramore for a long time. Yeah. Um. But yeah, I didn't really get to talk to a bunch of you? people. We lost, we also yeah, well, lost was... touch. But yeah, it's good to reconnect to. And then make a decision. Like, I, I don't know. I'm like... The reason why I would do Ranger is kind of like the same reason I do Medic. And so it's like... I just feel like the Medics are shorthanded. And... The Rangers have a bunch of new recruits, I heard, so... Oh, weird. Yeah. I mean, 
I guess we know that Harriet's gonna land. Yeah, well, I guess they have a whole new round of recruits. There was too much drama yeah, that followed everywhere I mean, I guess went, the, so you had to quit. Uh, uh, I'm sorry to hear it, bud. Let's be honest, the Rangers seem to I didn't realize. Cool to have, you know? <laughs> yeah. uh, I don't know about that. Cliff just wants the poncho, to be honest. Yeah, if I can get the medics to wear a poncho, I mean, I'd sign up in a flash. Hmm. You ever consider being a ranger or medic or even a law pack? I mean, I sort of naturally go out into the wild, and if I see, like, a rogue horse or something, I'll call out for people who are hurt, so I feel like that's kind of ranger stuff. Okay, yeah. We can, uh, we can trail off to the left down here. Make it easy. Quite steep. Still got good memories? All right, that's good. Hydrate. That is actually a very good point. I will take a sip at the earliest possibility. have some clips from back then of me <laughs> awesome yeah I kept a few of dr. cross but uh not too many so yeah so you just do it kind of naturally rather than wanting a job off of pet uh yeah I mean I don't know if I would want to do it professionally, especially like if you say there's a bunch of new recruits, like I don't want to flood the gates sort of thing, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, I mean, I don't think it, it's like flooded gates. It's just, I mean, my whole time here, I've only heard of like one medic in training compared to like, I've heard a handful of rangers and all that stuff. Mm. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I, I don't know. I mean, we'll see. We'll give it some time. I I, I need to, uh, you know, start putting my new skills into practice. I mean, saying that, I need to get myself a fucking medical bag. Well, I guess we know what we're doing when you get back to town. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. Yeah. Uh, right. So I haven't been fishing in a while, so I may need a refresher. All right. Uh, you hold the rod in your right hand, and then you yeah. bring your left in to throw it. You hold it for a bit, and then you throw with all your might. All right. Sure got the bait right. on the end. Yeah, make sure you have bait on the end, because otherwise I can go. Oh, yeah, I did. All right. And then you just hold it in place, and the fish will come to it. If there's fish nearby, if not, you're gonna have to sort of drag your line over to a side where the fish actually are. Yeah, it look, looks right. like uh, a lot of fish are on this right hand side. You can mm -hmm. kind of see them, the water getting disturbed when they're bobbing up. Yeah. And obviously, you know, you can let your right hand sort of rest while the lure is flying, but once it lands, you hold on tight. All right. And then, yeah, once you sort of see your your bobber go down, you you pull with your left hand so the hook goes in, and then you just start fighting the fish until it gets to you. Okay, I think... Yeah, I think that makes sense. Posture check. Oh, yeah. A good one. I didn't realize how poorly I was sitting until you just did that. Nice. Thank you.
I'll take a second sip too, because I mean. Can't hurt. Gotta make sure I stay fresh? Fuck yeah. True, and I will forget because RP will eat me. I think I'm fishing with the wrong lure. Yeah, I'm fishing with a fucking swamp lure. That's not gonna do fuck all. This will be better. You're lucky your fiancé, who's also your mod for stream, will make sure you stay hydrated and posture check. Awesome. Hell yeah. It's always good to have somebody with you who is supportive and looks out for you. That's very good stuff. Shit, brother, that's some heavy. That's a heavy thing to say. Holy shit. But I'm happy she saved you. Alright. Ugh, these fish are being stubborn, no assholes. Bite, damn you! What's it gonna be, fishies? You gonna bite? You gonna not bite? What's what's up? What are you doing? I don't know if it's me, but they don't seem too fond of the lake lure. Looking from work? Hey, Tris. Welcome in. It's very good to have you. Thank you for your lurk. I appreciate you. These fucking fish, I swear the fuck they hate the shit out of me. <laughs>
<laughs> Rawr. Adorable. Yeah. All right, Atticus said worms, right? So fucking worms, I guess. If you may, then one day you may ask for help. My stream seems to be running without problems, at least with the alerts. Yeah, sure. Whatever help I can provide. My Discord DMs are not closed, so you should be fine. You forgot I'm an amazing artist. Well, thank you. You're very kind. I appreciate it. I will say. What are you two yapping about over there, huh? What? What? Uh. Well, I hear you reacting. I, I don't hear Cliff I just speaking. I wanted to reel it in for some weird reason. <laughs> I think I felt a nibble, but I guess I didn't. Sometimes the splash is not the splash you were hoping for. <laughs> yeah. What a, what am I fucking? What am I doing wrong here? I don't understand. I threw lake lure, nothing. I throw a fucking worm, they run away from it. What? What is wrong? What am I doing? Spill the beans, what's the secret? Yes, that's what I wonder, right? What are they doing that I'm not doing? Just take the bait, you fucking dumbass fish. Oh, I hate this fucking place. It's really just too many people, honestly, I think. You can have one or two people, but three people that close together? Nuh-uh, that's never gonna work.
I'd hit the shallow waters. What the? What was it that I... Wait. What was it I played other than Dr. Cross back then? Um... I don't think I... Well, I started Gunsmoke with uh, Mr. Bishop Payne, but that went very badly, so I rolled out of that character into Dr. Cross, and I think I played him till the end of Gunsmoke. And then I rolled into Silverton as Patrick Gallagher, if you recall. And then I played him until the end of Silverton. And I think right after that was Aramore. You still have the pictures I made of your characters. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, the Rick and Morty style. Those were good. And look, Pat. No, it doesn't matter what I put on the end of this line. They just go tell me to fuck myself. <laughs> Do I still have them? Um, some of them. I've had to delete a few because I was running out of room on my hard drive, unfortunately. Uh, I kept my own, obviously, because it's my character, Patrick, but... Uh, I think I got rid of Moira and... Uh, and... Jonathan and his dad. And Neve, I also got rid of that. Your dad still has his, too? <laughs> Sick, dude. I uh, think we got too many chefs in the kitchen. I'm done. Still uses his for Discord. <laughs> Sick. Rider. Bowdy, I guess. Oh, you're saying the Bowdy? Yeah, I thought it was funny. <laughs> he enjoyed that, I could hear it. What the duck? He can duck. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> Just me letting out my frustration on a duck that looked way too happy. Since the fish weren't biting, well, I figured I'd be the one who bites. 
If I don't get fish, if I can't get fish for dinner, then get duck. Hell yeah. Pretty much. It's not a bad way of uh, <laughs> looking at, at it. I wonder, do you get the gizzard or do you get feathers? Oh, yep, yeah, you definitely. Okay, whoa. Roasted duck with taters and gravy. Hell yeah. There we go. Is there more still up and running? No, it's down. Um, Safe String is working with a few people on Aramore Ascended. So yeah, that'll be a little while. Seems to be fighting you pretty hard, huh? One of them tall tales. The old man who's just always fishing. <laughs> what are you talking about, me? <laughs> <laughs> oh, me as well. You know what? Yeah. Yeah, try and catch something, bro. Oh, nice. Have you seen this memorial thing? I saw it a while ago. I didn't realize it would still be here. Huh. Can't say I know the fella, but seems to have made an impact. Yeah, any man who's uh, kind of deserves a memorial must have been doing something right. You would hope.
<laughs> I don't know if he's gonna catch any fish either. Yeah. Are they just not biting for any of us? Oh, no, Cliss no, catch them all fine. Yeah, what I in the about, shit? Fucking bastard. <laughs> I got about five in my bag. You son of... Okay. You're some kind of magic man. What's your trick? <laughs> what bait you using? You using worms? Uh, well, I tried both. I tried lake lure and worms. So lake lure only really get the big stuff. I ain't seen no big... I think around here you only really get muskies. And they can come in quite big, but they ain't too desirable of a fish. You won't get much money for them. Oh, gotcha. Uh, you can get bluegill, rock bass. Well, I reeled it there. Well, let's see. Finally caught one, hell yeah. Bluegill. Now we're getting somewhere, at least. What the hell is that in the water? Is that your fish? Uh, I don't know. That sucker was Where at the it? surface, just sort of bobbing around. Oh. It's hard when you can't see the ripples.
gonna bite fishies or what? I really can't tell if they're anywhere close. What's it gonna be, fish? Are you with me or against me? Alright, I think I'm gonna grab something quick to eat. Uh, I'll be over by the horses. Okay. Alrighty. Fish are not cooperating. gonna get gonna head off it's getting late there alrighty well have a great night man I hope you sleep well and I will see you next time
Absolutely. Catch you later. Have a great one. Thank you for hanging out. I appreciate you, man. Thank you for chatting. Hi, great. You make a very good point. Thank you. Posture check. Actually, pretty decent posture this time around. <laughs> Thank you, though. Why are you running? I think Cliff is full of shit. I don't think he's fishing with worms. I think he's fishing with freaking lake uh, river lure. Not so far. You enjoyed chatting with me? Appreciate it. <laughs> yeah, thank you. I don't know if I bought a bad batch of worms, but they're just like, nah. That's because I said something. <laughs> oh, you got one. What'd I tell you? I knew it. You lying son of a That was a bad position to cast. Last text. You thought I had bigger fish to fry. <laughs> nice. Well played. Well played indeed. Have a good sleep. See you next time. Why do all these damn fish always seem to swim away from my lure wherever it lands? You fucking shit bags. <laughs> That's too far out.
I think so long as it's not more than two people fishing in the same sort of general area, you should be fine. But as soon as it's three, all the fish just go, What the fuck do I do? What the fuck do I do? <laughs> uh, yeah. At least we don't have to deal with any wolves or anything out here. That's a plus. What was that? At least we don't have to deal with any wolves or anything up here. That's a big plus. <laughs> yeah. Hell, I was half thinking, like, when I went over there to eat, like, shit, I'm going to attract something over here and get, get my ass eaten. <laughs> there was no way. Both of us were watching you. I'll drop a fishing rod to help somebody out if that's what needs to be done. Now, I don't mean to brag, but any of you's got any, uh, uh your satchels? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm actually, I'm full up fish, so, no, you're gonna have to throw it all away. <laughs> yeah, I have fucking, I haven't cut anything. <laughs> uh, no, yeah, I can. Just to make some room. God damn. Yeah, I thought I saw something in the distance, but I was wrong. Just a reflection. Yeah, so if you want to fish, you can go ahead. I think I'm just going to sit out. I don't think I'll do much better. You fishing with worms or crickets? Because I'm starting to suspect something. <laughs> uh, I was doing worms. I think Cliff's doing worms and he's catching the fucking entire lake. I think maybe I got like broken worms. 
Yeah, I think we both Why? got a bad batch. I mean, <laughs> if I throw my worm into the water, they're like, Scatter! That's bullshit! Get out of here! Cliff throws his in, and it's like, Oh boy, it's a big old luncheon. Let's go. Yeah, what's the secret, Cliff? Do you bather your, your bait in something? You rub it all in cinnamon or mint? Oh, God. What the fuck? I don't, what the what? Uh, yeah, our friend Otis, I think, has dick worms and... What the that, sh what what even you know what, fucking what uh, he, I think he tried to pee in a river and he, yeah. Oh, what? <laughs> yeah. He's a funny guy. Oh no. Oh. You done it now, Cliff. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh, I'm gonna need a good drink of water after that. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> I mean, you should be fine. It's not like you're drinking with your dick. No, I don't think that's something we're capable of as humans, you know? Yeah. Unless you want to tell me something there, Cliff. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I saw one of the bigger ones. Oh, where? Right there, I jumped up. <laughs> no pressure, Cliff. We're all just walking. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, that's my speed. Come on. Staying pretty far back, actually. For a second there, Cliff, I thought you were gonna run in with your pistol and just shoot it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think Harriet, yeah, it was Harriet. She was telling me for her ranger, uh, apparently when you're a recruit, they give you like tasks to do. And one of hers was to catch a certain fish before she like knew how to fish. And uh, I guess what she did is she like waited until she saw the fish with her eyes and then used a fucking bow and tried to shoot it like <laughs> <laughs> i mean i'm not gonna lie i'm close to that point but <laughs> yeah i was tempted myself earlier
I mean, hell, I know up in like, uh, Lake Isabella. I mean, just wait long enough, and a fucking pike is gonna jump up and just land on the ass. <laughs> fucking. I think that's gonna be the extent of my fishing. I mean, easy fishing. <laughs> yeah. Oh, look, a fish on the shore, you wink. Oh, look, another fish on the shore, you wink. Fucking <laughs> nice fishing trip. <laughs> well, I guess. I guess there's a waterfall, um, like Widow's Rock, I think, around there. But a lot of fish try to, like, jump up it. And, like, yeah, just, like, fucking. The weak ones don't make it. And, yeah, I heard you can just, like, pick them up. <laughs> nice. I mean that can't taste too good, but why not? Fish is fish. I know, but it would be all like battered, bruised, and then you don't know how long it's been sitting there. Well, I mean, if you don't see it jumping up and falling on a rock, then don't grab it. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good point. Got something. Yep, something that's uh, fighting you pretty good. Watch out that your line don't snap. I think it's already lit up. Oh, the mightiest of bluegills. <laughs> I mean, Atticus fought one of those uh, red fins for a good ten minutes one time. It was just stubborn as all hell. <laughs> yeah, I lost sight of the... Uh... Hmm. It'll probably jump here sooner or later. I just went too far out into the middle of the light. Yeah, I reckon it's the one that's way in the back there. Let's see if we can tempt him out. Oh, that was close to it. Stubborn ass fish. Mm -hmm. And it wants to try, you can see it. It's always etching closer, but it won't see. It'll take that bait eventually, I'm sure. There's nothing down here. No. Plenty of ducks, but I mean, what are you gonna do? That's one less snake for your horses to worry about.
If you hear an occasional crunch and you're confused, it's because I'm snaking. Any better luck over here? Uh, I see a lot of fish. I just. Hmm. I don't know if they're biting. And what are you fishing with? Oh, uh, worm. Alrighty. I can see a couple of ones that are interested in your lure. <clears throat> or your bait, rather. Okay, I think I had a bite. Hmm. You know how, when you're looking out at the water, your reel is kind of... Like on the lower right hand of your peripheral sight? Yeah. Yeah, if you want to be sure if you're getting a bite, you can keep an eye on that too. It'll jiggle. Yeah, I think I have been seeing it. It's just... You have to be real quick with your reaction. Jerk that left hand as soon as you see that happen. Because you don't get a second chance. is too far out yeah it's staying way in the back it doesn't seem to want to respond to anything lure wise knows I'm coming for it. might just be maybe I had a big lunch Pretty burb. Hello. Very cute. Come on, sir.
Another snake. Another snake. Nobody has to worry about. At least the snake hunting's good. Not a beaver? Huh. Okay. Oh, beavers everywhere suddenly. What the frick? Hey, nice catch. There we go. Here's a muskie. <laughs> Very good work, sir. Yep, thank you. I'm just admiring it. Real, real, real well. <laughs> yeah, he, he ain't turned around yet and seen what I've got in my arms. Yep. Well, if you find that your arm is failing you, um, last resort is to try and uh, pull out your map and very quickly catch the fallen fish. Oh, shit, I missed it. Holy shit! That's, God. uh... Yeah, that's a muskie. God damn, did you throw a net? Or Jesus. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah, I'm sitting there holding this... This little, like, dainty fish, and you just have this huge monster. <laughs> yeah, it took its time, but... Oh, that's good. We got it. We've learned. I wonder if they do uh, fishing tournaments or something. No idea. I ain't ever seen any uh, posters for it.
snake for that. Where's the bastard? Find it. I guess so. What are you shooting at? What are you trying to oh, shoot? I, you got it. I hit it the first time and that fucker just went. Huh. God damn it. Now the snakes are becoming tena tena tenacious. Tenacious. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> Well, Damn, I shot two up. earlier. Yeah, they're getting real smart. Yeah. Maybe they're mating with the coyotes as well. Oh, I don't want to think about all that. Mm -hmm. That's disgusting. That'll be a quick run for me. I mean, it took me a bit, but I remember how to fish again, slowly but surely. Very good. Yeah, it's not one of them days where you forgot the, uh, you know, a lot of muscle memory. Picked up. Yeah. You gotta keep practicing at it. Yeah, I mean, I think I'm, I'll just stick to the little shit. And like I said, if I really want, I think that there's pipe in Lake Isabella. I'll just go fucking take the bruised up ones. Next time, uh, next time you're gonna do a nice one, I'm, I wouldn't mind coming up and trying to fish in some lake. Alright. Yeah, because Isabella's good. Uh, I heard it ain't really good. Like, it's good eating, but it, it really ain't. Nobody wants to buy the fish. This was uh, an unfortunately not so fruitful trip for us, but well, they can't all be winners. At least Cliff caught a bunch of fish, that's something. I have two or three small ones.
Yeah. I guess I really haven't tried this. Because you're talking about, like, just the normal bait yep. without the tonic. Yeah. I don't... I never really tried those, so I don't know how those... What really they, like, pull in. I mean, I guess they'll pull in stuff like coyotes and just smaller stuff. Sorry. Right. My horse was a bit enthusiastic. Horrible weather at the moment, ain't it? Sure is. Just pissing down. I'm gonna go annoy the butcher with these snakes. Yeah. Well, thank you very much. Yeah, no problem. I didn't realize, Cam, ten dollars for bass and shit. Fuck. It ain't. It ain't bad. Is it? It's. It's. Uh. If. If you can. Uh. Be patient with it. You know. You make some okay money. Yeah. 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 You find a good spot. You can catch. Your pockets full of fish, and. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, it's not a bad pity at all. Oh uh, yeah, I can do check my telegram. Yeah. Come on, Amy. Hop on. All right. Here we are. They were just sitting there. It's just weird seeing like twins. I ain't Miss Poplar today. Well, suppose that's not a bad thing. Yeah. We 
We should yeah. find Otis at some point. Yeah. Yeah. So I probably won't be around, but yeah, I mean, I haven't heard anything from Cletus at all either. Like, mm, maybe nothing. they got caught out selling or something. Yeah, or maybe deal gone bad. Yeah, could have been. But. Mm. Hey, Pat, you uh, you smoke? No, not normally. Okay. You've tried uh, cannabis? You not remember our time in uh, St. Denis? Oh, yeah. I do remember that. You want more? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Shit. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You guys got fucking so high, didn't you? Yeah. It felt like we're on a different planet. It did feel like yeah, that. We, it's like we, one uh, of them H.G. Wells books. Yeah, me and Otis, we, we missed the kind of climax of your high. I think oh. you're just about getting started when we, uh, I don't know, we fucking lost each other somehow. Well, yeah. You were on the cart and then suddenly you weren't. Yeah, maybe that was just the uh, cannabis. Probably. I just... <laughs> well, I mean, I swear, I saw you guys just run away and then... Yeah, and then after a while, I was like, "Shit, they they never came back." And then I stepped out, and I'm like, "Oh my god, I'm somewhere else." And then I stepped right. out, and the first thing I saw was mud. Yeah, it's a hell of a thing. Yep, hell of a drug. Yeah, the memories of that night are a bit hazy, but. Fuck it, I had a good time. <laughs> yeah, that's what it's all about. That's what it's all about. You, uh, you boys fancy trying to handle blackjack? Uh, yeah, I can. Yeah. I mean, we can go out hunting or doing whatever if you want. I don't, I don't mind. No, that's fine. I need to get a stew anyway, so. Just well, let's go to the saloon then. Yeah. Oh, I, I think I can use my hands. So I'll, I'll run to the bank and grab my uh, my card deck. Yeah. Or I think I can. I think the dealer asked me, but. Yeah, we'll wait for you to uh, set up the, the game with the dealer. Yeah, I, I have to give him the shit. But yeah, I'm excited to see what what this animal deck looks like because i really haven't opened up the pack yet oh really yeah They cost you again? Uh, no, it's like 300. This doesn't look right, look right on him.
but yeah, I, I still can't get over the fact that he said like the Van Horn deck goes for like he said people buy it for like eighteen thousand. Oh my god, now that's just ridiculous. Yeah. All right. I mean, he, he asked me if I wanted to, uh, what deck to use. So I don't know if, uh, he's only going to deal with them nice fancy cards to you. All right. That's tough. I mean, I know this bastard's gonna have 20. Okay, 18, yeah. Oh. Unlucky. 14, come on, bust. Oh. oh. I mean, he's rolled up his sleeve, so I can't even say he's got cards up his sleeve. Yeah, I'm gonna do one more. Yeah. I'm gonna go 20 bucks in, see if I can make some quick money. I mean, that's usually how I do blackjack. I put like 20 bucks in, I just play until I win a bunch of money or I run out of money. Because I know, I think I, I was playing with like Fem Cooper. Boom. There you go. Oh. Bet 20 or 20. Let's go. Oh, shit. I, I did play cards with people. I remember now. I, I think I'm going to send a, a, a telegram to Wolfie asking for the day. Uh, he kind of invited me along. Uh, I think it was yesterday. Oh, was I it? Uh, maybe. I, I don't know. I, I, I thought he said about different. Maybe it was. I don't know. But uh, I mean, he's all, he was also talking about the restaurant, but he ain't gonna do it this week, which is understandable. Yeah. Hey, bus. All right for the same amount of money that's fine <laughs> we gonna do one more i think i might do one more but yeah when i was playing with them i won like every hand in a row like i went from 20 bucks to uh oh shit oh is this different deck yeah i think I think the jack's like a a dog. Dog in a suit. I, I can barely see it too. That's definitely a different deck. Yep. Yeah. Queen is a horse. <laughs> oh shit, 13. You son of a bitch dealer. Oh. You know what, fine. I actually really like how this deck looks. Watch, I'll go bust now. Oh, fuck's sake. Oh, say, oh, the king's a bear. Nice. Oh, that's cool. You son of a bitch. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he knows what he's doing. He really does. Oh. 
Honestly, I, I, I think I rather would have taken the loss there than him pulling out the goddamn ace. I'm pushing. Holy shit. Oh shit. Um you know what, fuck it. I'm just gonna stand. That's still not bad. It ain't bad, but he has a nine. I know the I know this <laughs> fucker has nineteen. for a biscuit. Holy fuck. Seems to be crashing again. Years filled me pretty hard there. Holy shit. But that 21 was a magical hand. <laughs> I had more luck stealing the book and being cursed by God than what I do now. <laughs> that might be my cue to uh, put my money in the bank and then risk my head. Alrighty.
Yeah, I mean, I'm gonna bank my money and then uh, probably put my head down. All right. But uh, yeah, I mean, you uh, you have a nice rest day up tomorrow. Yep, you as well. Good, you know. Uh, Pat, if, oh, go. <laughs> if you, uh, yeah, if you're about tomorrow and your fans are doing something, you send us a telegram. Alrighty, we'll do. And, uh, yeah, I, uh, bid you, uh, gentlemen, farewell. Well, I'm gonna be awkward and I'm gonna go to the bank with you, so. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, we're doing it separately. Yeah. Well, so, like, yeah, these cards, I guess, are really, like, sought after. Oh, really? Yeah. I mean, hell, this one was worth $300, so. What's the cheapest one? Was it the Lemoyne or the Rhodes? Rhodes. I think it was, like, 150 or something. Not bad. Yeah. I'll take you stay here in uh, Blackwater. Yep. I uh, have a room right over there. Okay. Yeah, I normally stay in Strawberry, but if not, I just stay in the saloon, one of the rooms upstairs. Oh, yeah, that's fair enough. Yeah, I live in there, too. Maybe you, maybe you could be neighbors. <laughs> Probably. I'm 6C. What are you? I'm 7C. Oh. Oh, different. Or <laughs> like different floor and separate sides mm. yep <laughs> <laughs> couldn't be more separate <laughs> but well, yeah i don't I'll, know i'm half tempted to move to culture because rent up there is like 33 dollars so <laughs> yeah they got a fishmonger up there oh uh, i don't know I'd assume maybe. No, I actually I don't think so. Well, you know, I think uh, it seems like a pretty attractive proposition. To be fair, I mean, thirty-three bucks for a room, you know, right next to exactly where you won't be doing your uh, eye stuff anyway. I mean, that's yeah. kind of perfect, ain't? It? Yeah, but there's been a lot of people up there, like Van Horn folks. I think are going up there. Uh, Rafi was looking for that group that I don't think he said they were dangerous, but it could be. Yeah. The collective or whatever. Yeah, it's a fucking. That's got to be a cult. Yeah. And I, I just I heard cultures like it's it's strangely busy and it's a lot of bad folks. I'm sure it won't stay that way forever. Bad folks can't stay in one place for too long. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And well, anyway, I, I'm gonna rest my head down. You, you fellas, have a good evening. Will do. Have a good one. Yep. See it. Well, I may try to make some money. I don't know. <laughs> oh, I mean, you're you're fine to tag along, but I think I'm just gonna be riding about. Alrighty, well, I think I'll let you roam. I'm gonna experiment with something. <laughs> All right, what, what do you experiment with? Just the regular beats. Um, oh, all right. But I'll probably be doing them. Let's see. Ah, oh, crap! I threw my map. <laughs> Actually, since it's only uh, meant to attract the small stuff, probably up where you initially wanted to attract the bears to in the valley. <laughs> All right. Yeah, uh, actually, I'll ride with you because I do want to see if the pronghorn folks are about. All righty. Let's go see if they're in. 
Yeah. But uh, you, you'll have to let me know how it goes. Absolutely. If you hear a lot of gunfire, then nothing, and you don't see anything move, uh, it went wrong. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, I, I'm probably just going to see if anyone that is at Pronghorn, and then might see if Rhodes has, a, like, a tobacco job. Alrighty. Or maybe just do an ice job. If not, I may... I might just say screw it and call it early. Well, wherever the roads lead you. Yep. Well, I guess the tweens. Yep. Twins are a little unsettling, ain't they? Yeah. Well, when when uh, we first got here, they were both sitting on that bench over there. Uh, I yeah, I recall. I wasn't sure if I was just seeing double or if there were actually two people. <laughs> yeah. Alright. Uh, howdy. Howdy, sir. <clears throat> I guess it was two people. usually a Mr. Way mining trip on Tuesday, but he ain't sent out the schedule yet, so I ain't I'm assuming there ain't one, but hmm. who knows maybe you'll get, well, I'll get a last minute telegram <laughs> Better late than never I guess Yeah Organization does not seem to be the strongest suit of, um, well, anybody on the cross. <laughs> I know, right? Like, it's just funny, because, like, even when we went, uh, like, Sunday night, he was just like, yep, the schedule will be going out Monday, and you will all get it Monday. And, yeah, nothing. <laughs> <laughs> like leave my apartment I'm like shit do I want to do this <laughs> yeah I get that oh yeah cause and so once I do get this like who knows, maybe it'll never happen. But when I do get this shitload of uh, oregano, uh, I can invite you hunting because if that's the case, then I'm just gonna like, I'm just gonna get as much meat as I can. a spot and just fucking flush out this black coyote I swear <laughs> so if you want to join feel free to Alrighty. no idea when it'll happen but it will <laughs> eventually yeah that was scary I'm pretty sure that guy at the back I think he's robbed me twice <laughs> oh yeah, I mean, I could be wrong, it, but I think I remember that cut. Well, he robbed me once, and then he half robbed me because he bought my bolt for $300. Hmm. 
Well, that's the thing. I don't think he remembered me. Remembered him. He like threatened to tie me up on my wagon and push it in the river. Like, yeah, he's all weird about like making deals and stuff. So I was like, screw it. I'll just make you. through here or down there uh i don't care <laughs> all right up here then the way I, yeah i mean if i was leading i would go back down but <laughs> That's just you. Boop. Oh. I didn't mean to turn so late. Uh, that, that drop off. <laughs> that could have ended poorly. You lead the way. I, there ain't a path or anything. I'm confused. <laughs> um, let me actually see where the hell we are, cause. Uh, it should be to our right and over this uh, over this mountain. Oh, okay. I, see. I don't know if we can actually go over it, but I'll go see. Well, fuck it, we're here now. <laughs> Not this way. Stop, course. <laughs> Woo. Check up here if there's a way up. There seems to be. This is probably not a very smart thing to do. I mean, this is like cool as hell. <laughs> It's an awesome view, but, um, there is no way down. Yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> I didn't think it could get worse, but, oh, I can feel my stomach dropping. Nope. Yeah, I don't, I'm <clears> just admiring, <throat> like, the view. It is pretty damn impressive. Like, that bridge. 
bridge between Rhodes and Blackwater. It looks so fucking small up here. Mm-hmm. Sure does. All right. Yeah, I'm gonna I have to remember this spot. Yeah, I accidentally took you to a picturesque area. <laughs> okay I did not fall I'm coming back All right. are you coming up back up here yeah 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 because down there it's just another dead end so oh no are we lost up in the mountains no we're not to your left oh, here no 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 <laughs> just through here Does that look like a gravestone up there? Yeah, it does look like a gravestone up there. Oh, yeah. Huh. back on a road that's something right i mean you sure you don't want to be a ranger like damn i think i i think i've been getting signs all day that i should really strongly consider it i mean oh shit No, it's gone. It was a diamond back. What's that? It was a diamond back. Those are bad, right? They're pretty damn bad. If you if they bite your horse, uh, that's bye bye. Oh shit. Especially since I don't have any anti venoms with me. carry that stuff with you if I'm coming up here I'm carrying all sorts of stuff bandages um, antivenoms for the horse um, horse tonics just in case it's just a bite or a scratch so he can power through it all right. <clears throat> so are diamondbacks just like up here or they can be anywhere. We had two of them down where we were fishing earlier. I shot them both. All right. And then I think you and... Yeah, you shot the third one a bunch of times. <laughs> you ground that uh, thing up. Well, that, I think that was a rattlesnake. Just a rattle? Hmm. Yeah. Because I think most of the times I just see rattlesnakes. Uh, I think I've seen like a diamondback once. All right. But. This should be the right way, but we'll see. But I just hate snakes in general, so I usually, yeah. That's fair. Snakes are pretty nasty. Yeah. Hell, I almost got in trouble once in armor. Well, I, I didn't get in trouble, but... Uh, I was at the telegrams and like 
I hear it fucking behind me. That's a fucking snake. So I just, I don't think, I just turn around, shoot it with my six shooter, and <laughs> there's a bunch of law in town. <laughs> and I don't know, I was like overwhelmed with guilt. I'm like, I'm so sorry I shot in town. And they're like, well, what'd you shoot? And I was like, goddamn snake. And he's like, oh, well, that's fine. I, yeah, shoot all the snakes. And I was like, oh, <laughs> all right. Cool, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Free pass. Yeah. But, I mean, I, I guess it was armadillo. and Ain't too many people there. And mm. it seems like snakes just love going through town. Yeah. This is the road north of Pronghorn, isn't it? Oh, uh, from what I remember the map, we were... We were east, and I think... We're east from Pronghorn. We traveled south. Let's see so, on the signs here. Oh, Strawberries up there. What? What the hell? I How long... How far did we go around? <laughs> yeah, we must have gone. Okay, let's just go the other route then. Yep, sounds good. Yeah. yeah, I mean, I didn't even think Strawberry would be up here. That actually makes sense. Yeah, we looped around left, so, yeah. Coming back down where we went out of town, pretty much. Just the other side of it. Yeah. All right, so this time we go here and then down to the right. Yeah, we go to Creek Man. Mm-hmm. This is better. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, hell, even when we like did this path, I'm, I was kind of surprised on how straightforward it is. Yeah. I always thought Pronghorn was a distance away. Well, I guess technically this just goes to Hanging Dog, but yeah, but still, it's pretty close by. In. Oh. <clears throat> oh shit, snake. <laughs> shit, bro. Shit, bunnies. <laughs> oh shit, car. Yeah, try not to deck yourself on the car. Pretend we're part of the herd for like a couple seconds. Yeah, we'll, we'll, it'll confuse the wolves.
That was great. right up to the house and already all right yeah I ain't seen anybody no, there doesn't appear to be any movement. Alright, so where are you going? Uh, back down to the... the Lavender Valley. Alright. Yeah, I think... I'll follow you down there, and then I'll split off once we get to, like, between Valentine and Blackwater. Okay. Or, like, that trifecta of roads that... Yeah bleeds everywhere <laughs> literally You know what? Ranger Riley wouldn't be too bad of an alliteration. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, I was thinking the same thing, because, like... So I'd be Medic Mason. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> That'd be awesome. Yeah. And then, I know they were all gone, uh, but Pram, I don't think Watt was there, so maybe it was just Pram, but, uh, or it was Prim and Wolfie uh, going on about how, like, because Cliff's last name's Hemlock, about, like, Dr. Hemlock, Medic <laughs> Hemlock, how all of it just sounds cool. <laughs> it does, actually. Yeah. But... I'm assuming you're probably going to be cutting off here. Yep. All right. Yeah, you have a good one. Stay safe. Uh, I might ride back through just to make sure you know nothing's got you, but I'll be just riding around. All righty. Well, I appreciate it. Yep, no problem. Have a good one. Have a good one. Be careful out there. All right, <clears throat> so I'm going to go a bit more this end. Putting my horse up here. Near the rocks I'm going to be running to.
Fuck. I didn't even place any bait yet. <laughs> That's the first bear attack I survived. Maybe I can do this. What the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> you gave me more trouble than the bear. Holy shit. <clears throat> me back my damn head. <clears throat> Goddamn coyotes.
I don't know if they work in quick succession like that. Doesn't look like it, huh? It's gone. Bear. Where? Didn't think you were getting away, did you? You charged me.
Follow me, buddy. Bagging two bears is pretty good. <clears throat> And three wolves. <laughs> well, sir. I can't carry all of this, so, um... I'm cutting it up. Hold this, will you, buddy? Hell yeah, two bears, three wolves, let's go! Alright, you can follow me again, buddy.
This was so good. <laughs> Coyote was a bit weird, but taking down two bears with no problem and then a pack of three wolves, freaking glorious. Now we get to sell it. Hello. Hello, sir. just introducing ourselves and hopefully meeting new people and you know going from there right and you seem like a lovely lovely lady oh,
okay. Well, we'd like to, uh, yeah, we, we look forward to seeing you. And I hope you have a good and restful and blessed day, all right? All right, and take care. Not a bad bit of coin. Not too shabby. Time to go home. Hello, sir. Headed the other way. That's good.
Here you go, buddy. Good night, bucket. Actually, before I go... Yeah, it, uh, I like it too. I like the, uh, I think Cap would call it the Western Outlaw look. <laughs> Yeah, well, you hit it right on the fucking head. Good yeah. to go. What have you up to? I just got out of Sisica. Yeah, so did I, actually, not too long ago. 1,800 days. Mm, that was a 1,200. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fucking sucked. But, you know, it is what it is. Yeah, you know, I got that charge for shooting the sheriff's horse from uh, the slaughterhouse way back. Oh, yeah? Yeah. They try do uh they tried to give me a couple charges for being a part of the uh Doherty gang what yeah who the fuck thought that you were part of that oh yeah didn't she's a fucking idiot yeah i don't know i was getting a bunch of charges for that and i was like i don't know what the fuck you're talking about what yeah that's fucking stupid well i'm glad they didn't charge you with that or did they no, uh, oh, I didn't. I, I, I fought it pretty hard. I was like, you should have, yeah. Fucking. Yeah, they were, they were pretty fucking convinced, man. I was like, what the hell are you talking about? They know exactly who rides with us. But I didn't even know there was a Doherty gang until pretty much then, to be honest. Yeah, it's it's Nash, John, Joseph. They know exactly because they all got fucking the whole file. That's, that shouldn't have happened. Although, they probably only be in So, today has been a day of signs. People in Blackwater. That weird moment by the road. Going out and finding that most beautiful spot on the mountain. And 
coming back down for a bit of a hunt, riding free with the horses. Been killing a coyote, bagging two bears, and even shooting up three wolves. Quick succession. If I was any kind of a believing man, I'd say maybe my path is finally clear. Ranger Riley. It's a laugh. But is it? you thank you for hanging out thank you everybody for watching i appreciate each and every one of you for being here for sticking with me for chatting and just supporting me in whatever way you can i know i say this every time but i actually i mean it every time too like you guys make this worthwhile so thank you so very much for being a part of this I am going to send us on a raid, though. I'm not just going to end. So if you hold on for a few more seconds, I will send you on. To somebody else in the community. Sorry, I'm speaking a bit slow because I'm also looking for this streamer. Whoever it is that we're going to end up raiding. doesn't appear to be any of the characters that we've interacted with. Um, hmm. I really don't know. Um, so I think I'll just send you on to someone random. <laughs> also doing wild RP. Um, we'll send you on to Deputy CJ Dollars, Itty Bitty Brit. We have raided them before, so you'll be familiar with the character at the very least. There we go. Go and say hello to Itty Bitty Brit. Um, tell them Chaotic Raid if you feel so inclined. If not, all fine. I won't hold it against you. Thank you so very much for watching again. Thank you for being a part of the stream in whatever way you were. And, yeah, until next time. Please take very good care of yourselves, and of others. Bye-bye.